Hi guys. I just want to talk a little bit today about understanding. And a lot of people say, I understand, I understand. And, you know, kind of put themselves in your uh, your position and say, yeah, I understand. That means I know. But knowing and understanding, I think that's two different things. To me, it is. But I, uh, to um, kind of enlighten me a little bit more, I got this book by Thich Nhat Han. He's a Vietnamese Zen monk. And he's a poet. And he has some, a lot of, uh, you know, good little sayings that you could think about. Um, I'm just going to read this little part. If you are a poet, you will clearly see that there is a cloud floating in this sheet of paper. He takes a piece of paper. You'll see a cloud floating in this sheet of paper. Let me get this thing right. Okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah, okay. You will see a cloud floating in this sheet of paper. Without a cloud, there will be no rain. Without rain, the trees cannot grow. And without trees, we cannot make paper. If we even look more deeply, we can see the sunshine, the logger who cut the tree, and the wheat that became his bread, and the logger's father and mother. Without all of these things, this sheet of paper cannot exist. In fact, we cannot point to one thing that is not there. Time, space, the earth, the rain, the minerals in the soil, the sunshine, the cloud, the river, the heat, the mind, everything coexists in this sheet of paper. So we can say that the cloud and the paper enter R. We cannot just be by ourselves alone. We have to interbe with every other thing. So when you when we understand, you know, when somebody's feeling bad or something goes wrong, you'll say, I understand. It means I guess you see you feel what's going on and you know why. But a lot of people have knowledge and knowledge and understanding is two different things because you can know how to work on a project somebody teach you this portion of the project like project like assembly line you sitting on assembly line and you're putting all parts of you're putting in whatever in a in a circuit board you got your little uh, things and you put them in just and you slide on down to the next person so you know how to do that portion of that that job I know and then you might get promoted and go to the front of the line where they put the ICs in so yeah you know but you really don't understand what that thing is just like I use it so much as an example I worked on circuit boards, too, out there at Texas Instrument. But I didn't know what I was making. I just knew what they told me to do. And then, as I began to look at the whole thing, I said, oh, that's what that is. So I began to understand the making of the whole project. Just like with uh, uh, working at, on airline, at the airline, I didn't understand. I mean, yeah, no, I knew how to build my part. I couldn't see how it's going to be on the plane. But when you get the whole thing together, I understood. So that's what I think understanding is when you you have knowledge and you know how to do something. But the whole picture, the complete picture, what, you, what it wouldn't be without all the components. So it's kind of like uh, this piece of paper. 
the tree and the wind and the water. It's a whole lot of ingredients to make this piece of paper. I mean, it doesn't even look like it comes from a tree. It doesn't even look like a tree. So when we begin to understand each other and we think about all the influences, the components in each other and why they are like that and what influenced them to do what they do, it's, it's more than saying, oh, I know them, but under, I understand them. That, that's when you begin to try to understand, you'll have a, a, I don't know, a more compassionate heart. Okay, I'm, I'm going to read this a little bit. Um, the word wisdom is usually used to translate parjina. That's a Indian word. But I think that wisdom is somehow not able to convey the meaning. Understand is like the water flowing in a stream. Wisdom and knowledge are solid and can block our understanding. In Buddhism, knowledge is regarded as an obstacle for understanding. Hmm. Knowledge is an obstacle for understanding. If we take something to be truth, we may cling to it so much that even the truth comes, and even if the truth comes and knock at our door, we won't want to let it in. We have to be able to transcend our previous knowledge of the way we climb up the ladder. If we are on the fifth run and think that we are very high, there is no hope for us to step up to the sixth room. We must learn to transcend our own view. Understanding like water can flow and penetrate. Views, knowledge, and even wisdom are solid and can block the way of understanding. So, you know, a lot of people say, oh, I, I know, and I'm an empath, and I'm this, and I'm that. But, and everybody is seeking knowledge, 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 but knowledge and wisdom, but without understanding is, is you have no compassion if you don't understand. And that's what I, I was reading this little book and I said, that, that makes sense, I understanding. And then when you begin to learn how to understand yourself, it'll kind of make you laugh because I mean, I've been evaluating myself here lately. And the things I do and why I do them, I say, oh, that's why I do that. It's, I'm, I'm, I do some strange things. And, but when you live by yourself, you can do these strange things. And, but I'm learning to understand why I do it. And it's okay. At this phase of the game, if I don't want to change, I do want to change, so I need to change. There's a lot of things I, I should do and, and make a project because I'm, I'm working with M, um, M. Bernadette Speaks. I'm working with her in her 40-day fast from the bad stuff, and I'm learning so much about myself in this this 40-day fast. And But it's, 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 it's a journey, so I'm, I'm appreciate, appreciative of that. But we are just about understanding. That's what I'm talking about tonight, understanding. And people who say they're empath and want to be empathetic, just sit down and put on other people's shoes. And if you've been angry with someone or just don't like someone, put on their shoes and try to understand. And when you understand it that might be a hard thing for you to do it might take a couple of days to even understand but under to understand you have to have this thing called love because if you don't have that love you say mm, I, don't, I don't even want to know nothing about her i don't uh -uh, no. so but i think understanding is gonna save us during this time because you have so much hate and so many people wanting things their way. And if you gave everybody what they wanted, say if all the white people, we don't want no blacks, no Mexicans, no Jews around us. 
okay, give them that portion of the world where they never have to see us. And then give black people where they never have to see white people. We got our own stuff and we're just living good. Do you know it's still going to be something that we don't like? We will still not be satisfied. It will still be killing, robbery, everything. So that's not that. That's not what we need. Because it, they have it in Africa. It's all black people, mostly black people over there. That's murder. That's killing, robbery. And then you have the European world. They still do the same thing. Rape, rob, kill. So we need to understand. I think understand. We don't teach that enough. But I'm going to do some more studying about understanding. And I think understanding still deals with being empathetic. They have a connection with each other. I'm going to have to get my internet back on because I wasn't able to study like I wanted to today. But remember that. Let's try to understand each other. Okay? I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.